A total war. Larissa and Colt fought nearly every couple during the first part of the 90-day fiancé reunion, which aired Sunday, January 6. The couple showed up hours late and kept everyone waiting, so people were on edge and ready to speak their mind. Catch up on what you might have missed during this week's episode. Colt and Larissa fought with everyone. Colt and Larissa had the spotlight on them the entire reunion, and they only showed up at the end of part one. Larissa had gotten into a fight with Fernanda on Instagram regarding her arrest and some posts she made, and both women were ready to fight. Fernanda is jealous of me because she's ugly and I'm beautiful, Larissa said. I feel ready to do war. They showed up late and Larissa held things up because she couldn't find something to wear, so by the time they stepped on stage, everyone was done with the couple. Fernanda and Larissa were throwing jabs at each other and then John and Colt started getting into it. Colt called John pathetic for paying for a 16-year-old bride, commenting on the fact that John bought Fernanda a boob job, a car, an apartment and more. What's pathetic? You live at home with your mother, John snapped back. Everyone freaked out because Larissa would not let Fernanda get a word in and eventually each cast member left the stage. Fans will anxiously await next week to see more of this train wreck. Ashley and Jay don't know where they stand. Before the reunion, Ashley shocked viewers by revealing that she discovered Jay using Tinder only days after their wedding. She was heartbroken, to say the least, and at the reunion, she still didn't know where they stood in their relationship. They argued the entire time, and the only thing they could agree on was that if they weren't restricted to 90 days, they would have waited to get married and just live together in the U.S. However, Ashley still took aim at her husband when she could. You should be thankful that you had 90 days because it took you 93 to screw up, she said to Jay. You don't invite a woman over to my house while I'm bartending at night. Despite her frustration, Ashley was still hesitant to send him back to Jamaica because it was such a permanent decision. She did reveal that she has yet to file for Jay's adjustment of status and doesn't plan on doing so anytime soon. I'm not going to be responsible for him for 10 years, Ashley said. I have a life. I have a home. I have a car. I have kids. I'm not willing to risk any of that for someone that doesn't even respect me. Lita broke down about her behavior. Lita and Eric seemed to be in a good place in their relationship. But when they were forced to talk about the past, it got rough. Lita was confronted about how she dealt with Eric's children and lashed out at him about child support. It's almost like she's saying she doesn't want him paying for his own child because she wants him to pay for hers, Kalani commented about the ordeal. It's almost like you're picking someone else's child over your own child. Lita lost it and started sobbing when she had to watch the way she acted on screen. I was a selfish bitch, Lita said. I'm mad at myself like, how could you be so stupid like that? I'm feeling regret right now. Steven explained his lies to Olga. Olga wasn't able to physically be at the reunion because Steven filed for her visa so late, but she video chatted and to join the others. Steven was questioned about how he treated Olga after she gave birth, and he acted very defensive the entire time. I don't know her as a person. Stephen said. When I was in Russia, she was not who she was during the summertime. When asked about lying that he applied for her visa when he didn't, Stephen explained that he didn't want to bring his fiancé and son to America when he was living on his grandparents' couch. Since he delayed the visa, he was able to finish school, get a job and get his own place. At the time, I knew she was pregnant and I knew she was going to overreact if I told her that, Stephen said. I didn't want her to think that I'm not coming for her. Olga accepted his explanation and just told him to never lie to her again. The other couples also laid off Stephen once they understood his situation better. Kalani shamed Asuilu for not helping care for their son. Kalani and Asuilu were happily married and expecting their second child, and they seemed to be in a better place than when the show ended. I want to be with her forever, Asuilu cried. Kalani's sister Colini did appear on the show to discuss her feelings about their relationship. She described her role as their baby's dad when Asuilu was in Samoa and Kalani even admitted her sister was there more for the baby than Asuilu was. 
She added that A. Sulu never sent gifts or money for the baby, which upset her. When I look at America on the map like it's a big country, with, rich people like I think she don't even need my help for providing, for the baby, A. Sulu said. John called Fernanda insecure and jealous. John and Fernanda presented a united front during the episode as they sparred with Colt and Larissa, but they did argue a bit about their relationship. They discussed Fernanda's blowout when John went to a bar with a friend and didn't answer her calls. Fernanda can get angry at times, John said, citing the way she will throw things or scream. She agreed that she can act out sometimes and explained it's because she feels alone in this country. It's just a sign of insecurity or jealousy, John said about her constant need to be communicating with him, which made her really angry. However, all that went away once Larissa stepped on stage, so they seemed to be doing fine.